five extreme machines you just have to ride. Number five, Diamondback Reverse Trike. The Diamondback was developed by an engineer custom bike mechanic duo, and the end result is nothing short of magnificent. The Diamondback includes some cutting edge processes and is poised to change the world we approach extreme vehicles. The Diamondback is currently priced at just under $30,000, but is worth every single penny. It's still in development, and pre-orders will help the team design even more impressive iterations in the future. The Diamondback is the most intense dune buggy you've ever seen, allowing for engines up to 160 horsepower. It also includes a pneumatically operated canopy screen and a full Dom Steel roll cage. A five-point harness helps keep you safe and secure with an exceptional braking and steering system letting you push past your limits straight into unknown yet exhilarating territory. The trike design with two wheels in the front and one in the back makes for a smooth, exciting ride that feels more like surfing than driving. We can't wait to see these in operation and we think it's the perfect addition to any fleet of extreme vehicles. Number four, Playa Crawler. The aptly named Playa Crawler is the ultimate beach toy and makes for just about the best time you can have in the sand. It was originally designed to be a Burning Man mutant vehicle project, but has since grown into so much more. After a lot of research and development, Mark Ellis decided to reveal his concept vehicle to the world on GoFundMe, with plenty of backers already sold and willing to donate to help fund the project. He's currently around one-third of the way to his goal of $3,000, which is incredibly reasonable considering just how impressive this project is. Ellis has opted for a diesel punk and World War II vibe when building the Playa Crawler, which uses eight articulated legs to walk itself around instead of using rolling tracks to move. This is a great idea, and for only $300, Mark will even provide you with your own set of plans, as well as all the materials needed to build this unique vehicle yourself. The only things that he doesn't include are a set of wooden dowels and CA glue, which are easy enough to pick up at any hobbyist or arts and crafts store. The Playa Crawler will make you the envy of anyone you meet at the next festival you attend or beach you visit, and a complete kit for the low opt-in price of $300 is an absolute steal. If you like the sound of this project, head over to GoFundMe or get in touch with Ellis to see what your available options are. Number 3. DTV Shredder. What do you get when you combine the features of a tank, motocross bike, and skateboard? Well, the answer is the Shredder, a dual-tracked, all-terrain vehicle that's powerful enough to tackle any challenge that you're presented with. The Shredder is powered by an impressive four-stroke 196cc engine that's able to propel you through sand, snow, or mountainsides at amazing speeds. The entire machine weighs around 200 pounds and has a stock top speed of 40 kilometers an hour. Most of the tech is cutting edge and under patent. Given the size of the engine included, the Shredder isn't recommended for anyone under 16 years of age, which we think is appropriate. It was relatively recently licensed to be sold throughout North America and has been available all over Europe for quite some time now. Many users have said that the Shredder rides like a supercharged off-road Segway. If you're looking for the ultimate off-road thrill, the DTV Shredder is right up your alley. It's built with aluminum and tubular steel components, with a skateboard deck helping you remain firmly planted on the vehicle, even in rough conditions. Number 2 joystick bike. Using only two wheels and one joystick, this homemade bike looks like it's a ton of fun to ride, if not a little bit dangerous. The first prototype was built using a mishmash of all sorts of parts, incorporating the wheels from a child's bike, a mountain bike frame, and a simple kitchen chair to sit on. The entire rig is steered by moving a mechanical joystick around without the need for traditional handlebars. This gives the user a surprising amount of control, and the bike can reach speeds of up to 90 kilometers an hour. The bike is powered with an electric battery that has a range of 25 miles, but also features pedals that allow for human-powered movement. These can be used after the battery dies or to help ensure that it's able to last longer by alternating power sources. All you have to do to get a hold of a set of plans to build your very own joystick-driven cruiser is to head on over to joystickbike.ch and get in touch with the team. They'll send you a complete set of general plans that'll allow you to apply your own DIY skills and become the envy of your entire neighborhood. 
It's worth checking your local laws to make sure that the joystick bike is road legal in your area, but if you can, then we absolutely recommend that you take this project on, because the end result is a fantastic vehicle that's completely environmentally friendly. Number 1. WESP Watercraft A personal watercraft that was built for high-speed racing, the WESP, or WESP, is a marvel of modern engineering. Its ergonomic design ensures that you'll fly across the tops of the waves in the utmost comfort and also allows for a high range of motion and vision for the operator. The craft even has a wave breaker that stops the nose from catching and plunging the entire craft underwater, which is traditionally speaking a big concern. The engine is an intense 120 horsepower beast and is coupled with two jet pumps for exceptional control. Even at high speeds, which this machine is definitely capable of reaching. It's highly maneuverable and includes a hydrofoil system to prevent it from getting away from you at any point, even when you're wide open. The craft can even reverse quite efficiently, which in itself set it above and beyond the competition. The WESP was conceived by Daniel Bailey and was first unveiled at the Monaco Boat Show, where it received the highest praise. You can't quite pick one up for yourself just yet, as testing and development is still underway, but we can't wait for the day when this concept craft is finally able to make the big waves that it promises. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of our future videos. See you next time.